Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. A table is a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. Now, in this lesson, you learn how to insert, modify, and change the appearance of tables. Now, let's first look at how to insert a table. So, locate the insert tab, then locate the table command. Click on it, then hover your mouse over this first to select the number of columns and rows you want to work with. Then click your mouse and your table will be added to your page. Now you can move this table around to reposition it. So all you have to do is hover your mouse over the edge, then click and drag to reposition it. Place mine over here. Then if you want to resize your table, just click the sizing handles at the corner to resize your table. Now from here you can start typing anything you want in these cells and you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move up, down, right or left. Now I'm going to use a table that I have over here that already entered some text. Then we are going to work with this. So let's first look at modifying the table layout. Let's first look at uh, adding a row or column. Now, if you want to add a row or column, so I'll add a row under this row over here. What you do is you come to the layout tab, then you have the row and columns uh, group. Now, if you want to insert a row above, you select this command and a new row will be inserted above the selected, uh, the cell that you had selected. If I select that again and then come here and click on insert below, a new row will be added below the cell that I had selected. So that's how it works. Now let's say you want to delete a row or a column. Now I'll delete these two rows. So what you do is you select any cell in that row, come to the delete command, then select delete rows. And that row will be deleted. Again, just place your uh, cursor at any cell, in any cell in that row. Then select delete, delete rows, and it will be deleted. And that will apply for both columns and rows as you have seen. And now let's look at um, merging and splitting cells. Now I want to merge these cells. What you do is you select these cells. Then under the layout tab again, come to the merge group, select merge cells. And it will be merged. As you can see now it's one large cell. Now let's say you want to split it again. You deselect the cell, then select split cells. And the cell will be split. But now I wanted it to be merged, so again I'll select it, then select merge cells, and that cell will be merged. And let's look at modifying cell layout. You can modify the way text fits in your uh, in your table cells by changing the cell margins and text alignment settings. Now let's first look at how to modify text alignment. First, select the cells with the text that you want to modify. So I'll select these cells. Now let's first look at modifying text alignment. Select the cells whose text you want to align. So I'll select these cells with the numbers. Then under the alignment group in the layout tab, you come and you have these nine alignment options. Now you can choose whichever one you want according to your needs and it will be applied to your text. So I'll select this one and that looks good for me. Again, let's look at modifying cell margins. To, uh, to modify cell margin, select the cells that you want to modify. But in this case, I want to modify the whole table. So I'll select the whole table. Then click on the cell margins command. And then make your selections from over here. So I'll click on moderate. And the changes will be applied. Let's look at formatting tables. We can apply our table styles to your table. All you have to do is select your table, then go to the design tab. Then we have the table formats over here. We have these table styles over here. So click the more drop down arrow to access all of them. Then select the one that you want to work with. So I'll select this one and it will be applied. The table style will be applied to your table. If you want, you can also add borders to a table. If you want, you can also add borders to a table. All you have to do is select the table. Then come to the borders command, click the more drop down arrow, then select where you want your borders to be. You can choose a bottom border, 
right border. Now for me, I want all borders, so I'll select that. And I'll have all borders on my table. 